All right, welcome back everyone. Salsa has joined the shot. Uh, camera goes on, Salsa, the best dog, has to be in the shot. But uh, welcome back everyone. Today is mail day. As you guys see, there is a bunch of packages here. Um, stacks on top of stacks, letters, everything. So we are going to jump into this and make it a fun one. Thank you to everyone who sent mail. If you guys want to send anything, P.O. Box information is in the description below. Well, let's get into it. All right, so yes, welcome back for another mail day video. Very, very excited. There's a lot of packages here. Uh, I was not expecting this. I think we were only going to do like eight or nine packages, and then I went to the post office this morning and had, I think, six more. So uh, that adds to the count. Uh, if you guys want to send anything, P.O. Box information will be in the description below. I originally said that I probably will add these uh, packages into random videos, like let's say a trash pick and then open up one at the end. Uh, not certain if that will happen. I know I had a lot of mixed reviews on that. Some people enjoy these videos and some people don't. So I don't know what, I don't know. We're going to just see what happens. I don't know what people want, um, but this is really cool and I really enjoy doing mail day. So if it's going to be inside, uh, we're going to open a package inside another video or we're going to just do a whole 45 minute, 50 minute video. That would be another story uh, for time to tell. But we'll see how it goes. Um, but we have a lot of packages here. I have a lot more behind me as well. So let's jump into it. We have some letters right here. Uh, so this is the first letter. This one's from San Bernardo, San Bernardo, <laughs> California. There's no return address. Uh, and I don't think there was any letter in here, but it appears someone must have got some custom. <laughs> Custom dollar bills here with good old sauce on the front. So that's very, very cool. Whomever might have got me this, greatly appreciate it. Uh, I know there's no letter with this, but very cool to have custom salsa dollar bills. Who would have ever thought salsa would be on a dollar bill or on money in general? She's currently on the floor waiting for something to sniff. I will not let her sniff that. Uh, here we have one. This one's from Jackie. Uh, it said college something. It looks like, I don't know, maybe something that's customized, something that's from colleges. Oh, cool. It's a magnet. Nice Longwood University magnet, my alma mater. I don't have a lot of Longwood apparel. One thing about my school is we don't have a lot of merchandise out there, but very cool. Uh, you know what, maybe I'll even throw this in my van, like on the back. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll do that. I know I have the other magnet Jackie sent me a while back in there. Very, very cool. Longwood University, alma mater. Thank you, Jackie. Greatly appreciate the wonderful Longwood University. For a second, I thought I was wearing a Long Longwood University t-shirt, but I was not. Um, thank you for the wonderful magnet. Greatly appreciate that. Jackie is definitely blessed me with a lot of beautiful items. I think uh, this one's from her as well, and I think there's one or two packages there as well. So thank you, Jackie. Greatly appreciate it. This one is from AS or A5 out of what appears to be Andrews, North Carolina. So we have a letter here. Birds on the front. I believe that's a cardinal. Birds. Oh, we got a little monetary gift here. For coffee and donuts, Taku, Taco, thank you for all the hours of great entertainment. Well done, Senor Blue Eyes, AS from North Carolina, sent February 25th. Thank you, AS, for the wonderful $10 donation, $10 gift, I should say. Uh, greatly appreciate it. Hopefully all is well with you in North Carolina. Thank you for the wonderful gift, and thank you for the wonderful letter. I know this was sent late February, so yeah, February 25th, February, yeah, February 25th. So thank you for that. Greatly appreciate it. Hopefully North Carolina is doing well uh, and everything is well with you there. So thank you. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you for the wonderful gift. Lastly, the last letter we have here is a postcard. Uh, it came from eBay. I don't know. The letter does not say anything. It just has like the receipt. Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> Another Farmville, Virginia piece of apparel, merchandise, paper ephemera. That is awesome. It's a postcard from Farmville, Virginia, where my school was. I'm trying to recognize where this is and I have no clue. 
So I'm thinking, actually, it kind of looks like it kind of looks like the highway going towards Farmville. I can't remember what highway that was. 460, 360, 380. I don't remember. I remember taking it a couple times though. Um, but that's before all the trees got tall. So whomever might have purchased this, I don't know if this was your store. Uh, if it is, it's postcard 222 or if somebody purchased this for me. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you for another wonderful uh, postcard. I do have maybe eight or ten from Farmville. I do not have that one though. So thank you for that. Greatly appreciate it. All right, jumping into the packages, I'm going to try to go through this pretty quickly. I know the last video was 45 or 50 minutes long, and when I tried to upload it, it took forever, and I was worried it wasn't going to work. So I went through a lot of stress with that. So if you guys included a letter with it, I'm going to probably just abbreviate the letter if it's a long letter. Don't feel like I don't love you just because I abbreviate your letter. It's just because this might take two hours to film, and I don't want to end up having a very long mail day video that does not upload so this one's from jackie port north port florida thank you jackie for this it says peace jackie on the back greatly appreciate that um, i do open up all the packages but i don't open up what's inside so this one says 30 ounce skinny tumbler this is from jackie designed by jackie it might be a tumbler oh oh is that a it is. <laughs> I think it's my first glass straw I've ever had. Ooh, this is cool. Uh-oh. Salsa dog skin. This isn't for you, Salsa. You can smell the, uh, the wrapping. Wow, this is really nice. Oh, wow. This is well made. I'll even take out the plastic. If I can figure out how to do that. Oh, it's one of those. Oh, it says hand wash only. <laughs> I think that's funny just because I don't have a dishwasher. So I guess that's the only option I have. Very, very cool. Very well made tumbler as well. This will come in really handy during the, uh, the summer months. Nice taco stack, double sided tumbler. Great, perfect. It's going to be absolutely a blessing to have this during flea market season. Thank you for the wonderful tumbler, Jackie. Greatly appreciate it. it even has my logo on it. Uh, so thank you for that, Jackie. Greatly appreciate another wonderful gift. This will definitely go to good use in the summer, even just with water, because I usually just put stuff in a water bottle or just take a water bottle, and it gets it gets like that. It, well, the bottle sweats like crazy, and then the, the water is just like... It's like a warm coating with like a cooler inside. It does not taste good. If anyone out there knows what that feels like, it's not that, not that enjoyable. But a tumbler will definitely solve that problem. Thank you, Jackie, for the wonderful tumbler gift. Hopefully all is well in Florida with you. And thanks again for another wonderful gift. Thank you, Jackie. All right, this one is from Bargain Barrens uh, out of Regina, Saskatchewan. Uh, if anyone hasn't checked out Bargain Barrens, they are also one of the very... A uh, few original YouTubers in the garage sale, yard sale world. Check them out on YouTube. They make a bunch of great content. It's Bargain Barons. Uh, they have been making a lot of great videos and they focus a lot on antiques or very interesting items. So if you're not into the whole clothing thing or, you know, dollar items, they focus on a lot of higher end and very neat items. Uh, so check out their channel as well. Bargain Barons on YouTube. This is 10 chocolate bars. We will see what's in here. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's great. So even included a little um, postcard or photo, you should say, autographed by them. Very cool. We have some uh, business cards as well for Bargain Barons. So you have some for YouTube. They also have an Instagram. It's Bargain underscore Barons. They also are on Facebook as well. And then we have a bunch of snacks. Always great to get these snacks from different countries because we don't have them here. Uh, so we have old Dutch ketchup flavored potato chips. So also these are not for you. I know you're sniffing away, but they're not for you. Cheesies, kind of like Cheetos. We also have, oh, those are cool, Kit Kats. A little bit different. Arrow. 
<laughs> Smarties as well. Caramel. We also have crispy crunch. I believe this is like a peanut butter. So, so you can sniff these, but you can't eat these. And a coffee crisp. So very, very cool. Uh, a lot of different flavors here. This ketchup, I think I've had this once before. Um, this is actually pretty good, as I remember. Ketchup flavored potato chips. Which also gets me to another weird story. Another random fun fact of the day. I used to eat, when I was a kid, somebody probably also had these as well. You put potato chips and ketchup and put them between two pieces of bread. I don't know why I ate that, but that's what I ate. And my brother to today still makes fun of me about that. I have not had one of those sandwiches in a very long time, but that would be that. Thank you to Bargain Barons. If you haven't checked them out on YouTube, check them out on, on YouTube as well. Uh, very, very cool. Greatly appreciate the wonderful gift. It will be going to great use shortly. Actually, I haven't had lunch, so maybe I'll snack away at some of these potato chips. Thanks. Okay, so we have two small packages here. This one's from Doug and Patty, Vancouver, Washington. Not too long ago, I actually learned that Vancouver is also in Washington. I thought it was just in Canada. Hello, Taco Stacks. We love watching your videos. We are sending you this jar opener. It works really well for us. We hope it will help you more easily open those stubborn salsa jars. Doug and Patty. That's very cool. It's like a flower-shaped, non-slip rubber jar opener. Very cool. Greatly appreciate the rubber jar opener. I know I received some in my last mail day video, but uh, like the first ones I ever had, I ended up losing them. So who knows how long it'll be before I lose the other ones. These will definitely go to great use. No more stubborn jars ever again. Greatly appreciate Doug and Patty. Thank you for the wonderful gift. It'll definitely go to good use. Thanks. Here we have a package from Sharon K out of Nancy, Kentucky. Oh, that is interesting. Taco and salsa. Oh goodness, it's in the script. And calso. Cursive, I should say. Cursive, cursive. All right, I can read the last answer. It says, keep up the good work, Sharon R. Thank you, Sharon. Greatly appreciate that. I can't read scripts, so rather than butchering this entire letter, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, thank you for the wonderful letter. I did say this is a motorcycle license plate. It was supposed to be turned in, but uh, I guess you don't have to. Very cool. Uh, so, yeah, we have a... What? Oh. Oh, and I think these are for uh, veterans, right? These are these little ones. There's something about that. I do have a couple of these, but they're for Pennsylvania. I definitely don't have any for uh, Kentucky. So yeah, a couple little uh, smaller license plates there. And then we have this actually. Salsa, please don't eat that. Oh, it's Oregon. That's cool. A little Oregon license plate for a uh, motorcycle. Salsa. Very cool. Thank you, Nancy. Uh, I mean, thank you, Sharon. I greatly appreciate it. Salt. Thank you, Sharon, for the wonderful license plate. I think I have only like four or five uh, motorcycle license plates, so this will definitely add to the collection. Greatly appreciate it. Hopefully all is well in Kentucky. And thank you as well for these little miniature license plates, which seem to not be focusing on camera. Uh, but thank you. Thank you, very, uh, thank you very much for that. Greatly appreciate it. Hopefully all is well. Thanks. All right, this one is from Scott and Wanda M. out of Hickory, North Carolina. All right, taco stacks and salsa stack. Consider this a late Christmas box of items from Taco and half of your subscribers. Oh, from two, from two of your subscribers. Uh, two and a half of your subscribers. Scott, Wanda, plus Fluffy, our five and a half year old Maltese. We heard you say quite a while that your father gave you an appreciation for penguins. So fine and closed a few related items. And my wife and I especially enjoy being right alongs with you as you are going treasure hunting. Love to see the older craftsman homes as you cruise the lanes of PA. Sincerely, Scott and Wanda, Hickory, North Carolina. So thank you, Scott and Wanda and Fluffy. I'm sorry, a comic strip. Oh, wow. I'm going to try to uh, probably just... Hiding at the bottom, so you can sniff away at that. I know you're going to. We so we have some Subway, 
Subway coupons. Actually, I had Subway last night. Wow, she's going to town on this. Oh, this is awesome. That's great art. A print of penguins. That's very nice. That framed and matted really nice. 1977 Stuart Mosquitz. Very nice. I believe this is a, <laughs> a tie. Oh, there you go. So we have a mixture of my two favorite hobbies, or one of my favorite hobbies. We have penguins, Santa, and golf. Penguins up top. Greatly appreciate that. I haven't worn a tie in a really long time, but if I ever go somewhere, I think someone's gonna really like that. We have a pair of shorts as well. A pair of shorts, watch out salsa. And then lastly, oh, we also have a comic strip cut up. Salsa, hey, you are out of control today. This is all wrapped nicely, so there must be something inside here. There is. <laughs> Pennsylvania license plate. Thank you for the Pennsylvania license plate as well. And lastly, this looks like a very fancy button up shirt. Cars and guitars. Love the print on that. Love the print on that. So thank you, you two from North Carolina, Hickory, North Carolina also. Oh yeah, we have one last penguin guy as well. Very cool. Maybe you'll hang out on the kitchen with me. Oh, you might even like walk. Maybe you'll hang out on the kitchen with me while I cook, cook food the next time. But thank you to you two, Scott and Wanda, uh, out of Hickory, North Carolina, for the wonderful gifts. Greatly appreciate it. Hopefully all is well in North Carolina. Thank you for all the wonderful pieces, the license plate, the tie, as well as the art, uh, framed art. So greatly appreciate it. It will go to great use. I will find a place to put up that, uh, that frame. And thanks again. Hopefully all is well. Thanks. Okay, so let's go on to this package. I think this, yeah, this was going to be opened in the last mail day and I just didn't get to it because I had so many wonderful gifts that uh, the video would have been too long. But this one's from Kelly S. Jet Janesville, Wisconsin. I always get worried, like, <laughs> if anyone ever sends me a package, don't ever put a letter on the front because you'll see I cut the, uh, I cut it. I know some people have sometimes put letters right here and I just cut right through the letter. I never find it. So uh, looking for the letter, looking for the letter. I found the letter. You. From Wisconsin. Love watching you and Salsa on YouTube. You're such a hard worker. All the themes are fun to view. Locker cleanouts, rummage sales, estate sale, house cleanups, garbage scrap, pick -up, pickups, mail days, flea markets, thrifting, and of course, Salsa time. Good old sauce time. You have become one of my top 10 YouTube vlogs to watch. And I really appreciate you working tirelessly to post every day. With being retired in the pandemic with this isolation, YouTube has been a godsend. I also enjoy paper and moose. In closure, you will find a hodgepodge of things you can keep, sell, or give away. I just want to show appreciation. Also, treats for salsa. My three dogs are Bubba, Tiggy, and Swimmer. They say hi to salsa. Thank you. Keep living a dream. Peace. Warmest regards, Kelly. Thanks, Kelly. There's a little side note there that I kind of, I laughed about. All righty, let's go. Put this over here, put that over there, this over here. Ooh, wow, those are some. Those are some awesome license plates. So this is currently chewing on the cardboard box and I'm worried that I'm not giving her enough food or something, she's going bananas. All right, huh, huh, now let's go through this one. This one feels like a t-shirt. Oh wow, it is, and it's a vintage one. I can tell just by the tag. Oh wow, oh, Atlanta, Georgia. Oh wow, that's a cool graphic on that one. And it will definitely fit as well. So right now I'm in between a medium and a large. So like the t-shirt I'm wearing right now is a medium. This is a large and uh, medium and large fit great. So this is a great t-shirt. Awesome graphic on that one. Hold on. It's awesome.
I didn't want to do it to salsa, but you can't be, you can't be chewing on a cardboard box this entire time. Uh, thank you for the wonderful uh, t-shirt. That is awesome. Salsa, you can sniff, sniff this. And you're going after it right now. All right, I'll hold off on the t-shirts. We'll, we'll jump around here a little bit. Oh wow, that's cool. Lake Placid, Olympic Stein, kind of like a coffee stein. Uh, this I think is made out of a, what, pewter? It is, that's a very cool piece. My Olympic collection from the 90s and 80s is currently booming, I should say. Uh, so this will definitely go into the collection. Thank you for the wonderful stein. Canine carryouts. Thank you for the wonderful dog treats. And milk, bone, milk, bo <clears throat> milk bones brushing chews. So salsa can have clean breath. Greatly appreciate that, Kelly. Moving right along, we'll go into these license plates. We'll hook. Salsa, hey, 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 no. You can see she's currently chewed away at the corner of all this tissue paper. She just tried grabbing, <laughs> she just tried grabbing the, the, the tissue paper that I pushed to the side. I just, I don't know. Dog's interesting. So thank you, Kelly. Thank you for all these wonderful gifts. We have some awesome license plates here. This is the Bicentennial, I believe. It is, Nebraska. Very cool one. We have a Wisconsin one as well. Another Wisconsin one. And I'm not sure if I have this one. I definitely don't have the next one. I don't know if I have a Quebec one that looks like this. <coughs> so that will go on the wall if I don't. And then definitely don't have this one. This is a really cool one. It's a yellow Wisconsin plate. So thank you for all the wonderful gifts. Kelly, we have three more items here. Open up, oh wow. Oh wow, cool. Oh, cool. A little Olympic pen, and then a wonderful tie. I don't know I have to go on like a, a day where I just wear ties. This is awesome. Of all license plates. That's cool. That's really cool. All sorts of different ones. Yeah, New Mexico, Florida, Georgia, and they're actually kind of like legit. Like 1941, Wyoming looks legit. Um, Idaho one looks like so they must be actually like legit license plates. So very very cool with that one. Thank you for that Kelly uh, We have two more shirts that appears Oh You know how to tickle my feathers <laughs> Wow what a... Look at that one 1994 Winter Olympics Winter Olympics, 94, am I missing something? Maybe I got my, sometimes I go noodly. This is a nice shirt. Hockey jersey, or hockey, uh, hockey helmet, hockey mask. Very cool, love that. And then lastly, the last item here, which appears to be a jacket. Oh, that's awesome. So I don't know if you kept these out of your collection or you thrifted these, but I greatly appreciate you blessing me with these, Kelly. Very, very cool. Nice Olympics windbreaker, kind of like a rain jacket. Uh, very, very cool. Absolutely love the gifts. Kelly, thanks again. Hopefully all is well for you. Thank you for the wonderful license plates and all the Olympic, uh, not ephemera, apparel. Uh, there we go. Uh, thank you for all that. Hopefully all is well and greatly appreciate the wonderful gift and all the wonderful uh, items in that package. Thanks, Kelly. All right, looks like we have two packages here. This one is from K Cope out of California. It's also no, no. I guess tissue paper is salsa's new thing. All right, I don't know how like this package could be two dollars and eighty cents, but I guess it is. Uh, postage always throws me for a loop. It always throws me for a loop. Oh. 
Salsa. Not the cardboard box. Hello there, Taco. Thank you for all awesome videos. They have made quarantine so much easier for me. I like knowing there's always a daily video to watch. I hope you like this t-shirt, either for yourself or to sell on eBay. I know how much you like cool 90s graphic tees and NASCAR. I also want to say that I wear my Taco Stacks t-shirt when I garage sale and it has proven to be my lucky shirt. Best, Caitlin. Thank you, Caitlin. This one looks awesome straight from the start. Oh, wow. This is cool. Oh, it's autographed. Who is Jeff? Swinder. Oh wow, that's a big old graphic on the back too. Look at that shirt. That is awesome. It's kind of hard to find NASCAR tees in my size, so I think this is, oh well, this is a small, but this thing is like massively long. Like look at this. It looked like, I don't know why NASCAR tees fit so weird, but I guess that's what they do. Looks like it's my size. Very, very cool. Uh, thank you for the wonderful t-shirt, Caitlin. Greatly appreciate double-sided graphic. Awesome. Greatly appreciate. <coughs> I'm glad that my Taco Stacks t-shirt, or now your Taco Stack t-shirt, is a good luck charm for garage sales. Thanks again. Greatly appreciate the t-shirt. And uh, I do love the old 90s NASCAR. 90s graphics and NASCAR tees collab together. Very, very cool. Greatly appreciate it. Thanks, Caitlin. All right. This package is from Tony S. in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Tony has been a longtime subscriber. Don't on the back. <laughs> Taco. So I finally mailed this out. I meant to send you a cool magazine from 1993, all about the chemistry of a metal used for baseball, but I lost it. Instead, here are two candles I made. One smells like coffee, not that milk you drink from McDonald's, plus the other is cucumber mint, I think. To remind you that spring is coming. I also included a couple items from local Scranton business. Take a break, will ya? Tony. Tony also blessed me with a very, very awesome Krispy Kreme gift card. Greatly appreciate that. Um, what was I gonna say? Also, when I opened this, I was like, this smells like coffee. And I was like, I didn't wanna say it, but it smelled like coffee. <laughs> this is also cool. I actually thought, uh, I know this is kind of irrelevant. They actually make machines that do this, and it's like a great idea, and I was thinking about buying one and then selling the stuff because that seems like a great idea. Here we have a soap bar. That smells really minty. Vegan, sustainable ingredients, handcrafted. The Reliefery. Very nice. That doesn't, that doesn't focus right, but it's a very nice soap bar. Getting soap all over me. All right. Also, here's a hand side to keep in your pockets for the bids. Yes, the bids can be very, very grimy at times. This is what smelled like coffee. I knew it. Oh, and a coffee cup? How ironic. It smells exactly like coffee. Keep wick trimmed low. That smells exactly like coffee. <laughs> Not like that McDonald's iced coffee. Or that milk iced coffee, I should say. This is the other one. <laughs> I just read the back to that, uh, that card as well. I lulled there with the back saying. Yep. Oh, wow. In a Pyrex cup? <laughs> I felt this immediately. I was like, is this a Pyrex cup? It is a Pyrex cup. Very, very cool. Oh, it smells amazing. Cucumber mint. Very, very cool. Thank you for that. That smells amazing. They both smell exactly like what they say they smell like. And then lastly, we have one package here. I don't know if I want to put this on the floor because salsa has been like crazy today with packing supplies. This is Nibbles and Bits, Dunmore, Pennsylvania, which is right by Scran. Not for you, Salsa.
Thank you for that. <laughs> uh, that's good stuff. Uh, thank you, Tony. Thank you for your wonderful gifts. Hopefully all is well with you in Scran. I greatly appreciate the uh, candles. If you ever get out of the chemistry business, well, I guess candles are kind of the chemistry business. If you ever get out of the chemistry business, candles can be next up your alley. Thank you again for the wonderful gifts. I'm glad you can finally get out this package. Uh, hopefully all is well. Thanks again, Tony. Greatly appreciate it. All right, so we got more packages here. I'm actually going to save that Jackie package for last. It's the very... Well, it's the largest package I have. So that will be the last wonderful package open today. They will have a couple more here, so if you don't see yours here, they will be coming up. Um, but yeah, wow, this is a mail day for mail days. We have one here from Calvin C. out of Salem, Virginia. Now Salem is, I believe Salem is by Roanoke, but the funny thing is my one of my best friends from college he went to like Salem High School, which was like in Virginia Beach, which is completely opposite of Roma. I don't see a letter in here. Oh, maybe it's on this. It is on this. Oh, wow, it is a note. From Jackie. Oh, wow. Jackie, thank you for this. It's a Farmville, Virginia milk bottle. I never even knew they existed. Farmville Creamier, Creamer, Creamier, Cream, Farmville Creamer Incorporated. That is interesting. I don't even know, like, far, oh, this is not going to show up. That's not going to, well, maybe if I hold it like that, you can kind of see the logoing. Wow. Hmm. So this one is one that I got at an auction. That one's going out. And this one's now going into the collection on the kitchen. Very, very cool. Wow, that is interesting. I've never seen that. <laughs> Thank you, Jackie. Thank you for the wonderful uh, Farmville, Virginia milk bottle. Never even knew they existed. Thanks again. Maybe you sent the, uh, the Farmville uh, Postcard. Thanks, Jackie. Greatly appreciate. Greatly appreciate the Farmville nostalgia. I'm going to just call it ephemera, even though it's, I guess it is ephemera. Thank you, uh, Jackie. Greatly appreciate it. You've always treated me very well, and thank you for another wonderful gift. Very, very cool. That's going into my personal collection that I'm displaying inside my kitchen. So, thanks. Greatly appreciate that. All right. Here we have this one. Oh, yeah. This one threw me for a loop because this one has another YouTuber's name on it. But then it also is not, it's not coming from Canada, even though the address is half Canada. So I don't know, maybe there's a letter in here. There's no letter in there. Is this a letter? Read the inside. It says read it says read the inside of the frame if it makes you happy. Hmm? I feel like this is a puzzle. Read the inside of the frame. Maybe I'm missing something here. I have no idea what's going on here. I am such I'm here for a, I'm confused. Real estate law. All right, thank you for the book on real estate law. I did not go, I don't know anything about real estate law. Hushed up 100 special reports. I have, I am so bamboozled right now. I have no idea what's, there's no letter, there's instructional manual for an auto generator. And a calendar. Oh, here we go. No, nope, that's 
That's not it. And we have a sketch of a floor plan. All right, well, no idea who this came from, but thank you for the assortment of items, including the wonderful calendar. Greatly appreciate it. Maybe I'll read up on my real estate law and get a major in that, as well as thank you for the button and the random um, flip switch cover. Greatly appreciate it. Hopefully all is well with whomever sent this, and thank you for the wonderful artwork on the bottom. Greatly appreciate it. Okay, so this package is from Eric W. out of Santa Ana, California. To taco and salsa. Greetings again from Eric of California. I'm getting ready to open a space again in an indoor swap meet that was once a department store in our local mall. While going through the vintage men's clothes that I'll be selling, I thought of you and look like a size L. Thank you, Eric. Enjoy, Eric. Let's also have a sniff of the package. That's salsa right now. She wants a sniff of the package. I don't know. I think she's, she's tired of chewing on tissue paper right now. But we will see if she sniffs this package. Not sure what that logo is. This is a UPS logo. I know that one. I gave it to Salsa. We also have a uh, range noodley, not tape measure. Tape measure, I think that's what it is. Just wondering what you're sending here, bud. That is, I believe, a bandana, and these what are you getting fired up for? I'm not sure if these are just reflectors, I believe. I don't know what you're getting fired up for. What? So also, I don't understand what you need. You just went from full on sleeping to, I don't understand. Sometimes you make no sense. I will give you the shirt. You can smell it. Sort of, I know you want to smell it. Hey. All right. We can look through the shirt together, Salsa. All right, here we go. Here we go, Salsa. So we have a wonder. Oh, this is a nice one. Nice Puma zip up. Thank you for that, Eric. You can. All right, here you go. Here you go. Thank you for the wonderful Puma Eric or <laughs> Puma shirt. This one looks. What does this say? Start Monday. Oh, Duncan, a little Duncan T-shirt. Thanks for that, Eric. Double sided as well. Greatly appreciate that. So also now calm down for the time being. And then, ooh, this one looks vintage. Oh, a little California Highway Patrol. California Highway Patrol. Long sleeve t-shirt for any police fans out there. Now she just walks away. Interesting dog. But well, thank you for all the wonderful ephemera, Eric. Greatly appreciate all the wonderful shirts. Hopefully all is well with you. Uh, and uh, good luck with the indoor flea market, the indoor mall, or the, uh, the booth that you're going to be setting up. Greatly appreciate the wonderful gifts. Hopefully all is well with you, and uh, good luck. Best of luck, and thanks again for all the support, and thank you for another wonderful package. Thanks again, Eric. This one's from James M. out of Milford, Massachusetts. Oh, that's cool. All right, so I don't see a letter in here. But it arrived safely, because I know she's also included a bunch of these, which my biggest issue of ever sending anything fragile is that it will never arrive in one shape. This did arrive in one shape. It looks to be... I'm going to go with a Budweiser Stein. Maybe for an Olympics. I can see through it. Oh, I've never seen this one before. Oh, we got a letter inside. Taco Stacks, we heard you mentioned you had a Stein collection. We hope you will add to the ones you already have. We continue to watch every video you post and make mental notes of hints, trips, and bolos. We have not sent mail in a few months, but wanted to get this out to you. We look forward to spring trash picking videos as well as clean outs. Best wishes, Jamie and Katrina of Milford, Massachusetts. Thank you for that. Thank you for the wonderful gift. This is one heck of a Stein also. 1984 Olympics. Look at the, like, the artwork that went into this. 
This is not a cheap stein by any means. Very, very cool. Thank you, too. Thank you, Jamie and Katrina, for the wonderful stein adding to the collection of Olympic ephemera and memorabilia. Greatly appreciate it. Hopefully, all is well, and best of luck on your reselling adventures. Spring is almost here. Thanks again. Greatly appreciate the wonderful gift. Uh, hopefully, all is well. Thanks. Okay. okay, so this one's from Emily C. I believe I received this this morning. This was sent March 1st. This is from Emily C. out of Texas. Was this the one that was... No, it's not. That one's over there. Oh, wow. So right on top, I don't see a letter, but there is a ton of jewelry. A costume jewelry? Ow. Like tons of costume jewelry. Damage tag. I am uncertain. This all says broken, torn. So I don't know if these are all like just like uh, I don't know if you I don't know what's going on here. All right. Well, Emily C, thank you for all this costume jewelry. There's a lot of pieces here. This says choker. That says choker. A lot of this stuff looks like it came from. Has Kmart tags on it. There is a ton of costume jewelry in here. You have some beads. Some more jewelry. Holy moly, there's a lot in here. Look at all the beads at the bottom. Very, very interesting. Lots and lots of jewelry here. So Emily C, thank you for all the wonderful jewelry. I don't know much about it. I see also like a USB drive here. Uh, it looks like a lot of this stuff maybe came from Kmart. I don't know if you worked at a Kmart or you worked for somebody who does jewelry. Uh, greatly appreciate it. This one looked very expensive at one time. It was $44.50. Don't know much about it, but I guess I will start to learn. Thank you, Lee. Thank you, Emily C., for uh, the wonderful package. There's a lot here. I don't know how much this weighs, but there's a lot here. Thanks, Emily. Greatly appreciate the wonderful gift. Hopefully all is well with you in Texas. If you're in a jewelry business, best of wishes to you, and thanks for the wonderful gift. Thanks, Emily. Here we have a package from Stall Cup, Tennessee. Oh, got a license plate. Hey Taco, now the great state of Tennessee. Enjoy your videos, wish you continued good luck. Lynn at Stall Cup, thank you Lynn. I don't think I've ever seen that Tennessee plate before. Very, very cool Tennessee plate, thank you Lynn. Add it to the collection. It's vintage as well. I think it says 1971, 19, oh, 75, and 76. There's a registered tags on it. Greatly appreciate I don't think I do own this plate. Greatly appreciate adding it to the collection. License plates. Thanks again, Lynn. Hopefully all is well with you in Tennessee, and thanks again for the wonderful gift. Thanks. Here we have one from Oscar G. out of Los Angeles, California. I have salsa here and tape mixed together. Taco and dog. Enjoy watching your videos. Stay safe. Oscar G from Los Angeles. <laughs> Thank you, Oscar. Dental life for salsa. She's going to have clean teeth after this episode. Greatly appreciate the wonderful salsa teeth. Salsa teeth. The uh, salsa dental care sticks. And thank you as well for the gloves. Size large. I go through a ton of gloves right now. Um, now if it's going to be starting to be a little bit muddy out, going to be doing auction, stuff like that. Always great to own a good pair of gloves. Uh, so thank you, Oscar, for the wonderful pair of gloves. They have the uh, coating on the front. So I believe those aren't, I believe it's called tear resistant. 
So very, very helpful whenever picking up box lots or doing clean outs inside a barn or something. Uh, Oscar, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for the wonderful dental care for salsa as well as the wonderful gloves. Hopefully everything is going well for you in Los Angeles. Thanks again and greatly appreciate the wonderful gift. Thanks again, Oscar. All right, this one's from Marilyn A. Mack out of Illinois. Oh, wow. Thank you for the monetary gift. Taco, thanks for saving the planet one piece of scrap at a time. Many good videos, many good wishes for a very belated happy birthday. From Illinois, thank you. Thank you. Greatly appreciate the wonderful, also included $20 gift. Greatly appreciate the wonderful gift, Marilyn. Thank you for that. Like I say a lot, you guys and girls do not have to send money. Thank you for all the wonderful gifts. It means enough that you guys are very supportive of the channel and girls. Salsa is going to have the cleanest teeth in the state of Pennsylvania at the end of this video. Thank you for the wonderful treats. We're going to figure out which one she likes the best. Uh, hopefully she'll have clean teeth regardless. We'll not need any more dental treats for a while, but... Oh, 12. 12 in here, daily treats. I think the other one had like six. So yeah, this is going to be good for her. She can chew on that rather than tissue paper. I'm sure it's probably better for her. Thank you for that. Ooh, a Kong. Kong Wild Knots. Awesome. Oh, it's got, uh, on the inside, it's internal knotted. So I guess it doesn't, like, ever rip. Oh, I can feel it, too. That's cool. Thank you, Marilyn. Oh, this is, this would have, oh, I guess, I don't know why I smelled that. This is for paws. It's paw protection. I was going to say this would probably be great for the winter, but salsa doesn't really walk on salt that much. She's chewing on a box, though. Old saucy dog. Thank you for that. And then we also included, or she also included, some wonderful reading material. We have Pattern Glass Encyclopedia. Should probably read up on that because there's a lot of times where I'm just like, ah, oh, it's press glass. Uh, we also have a book from Kohl's, fourth edition depression glass American dinnerware. It's a price list, but it probably has a lot. Oh yeah, I see more than 350 illustrations. More than 6,000 prices. Oh yeah, it has all the, uh, has all the name. Rose White, Sky Tone by Crooksville, China Company, Coors, Rosebud. Yeah, so it has all the different uh, brands. Also has all the factories in it. So thank you for that, Marilyn. And then lastly, a wonderful, oh, what is this? Huh? Don't tell me this was sent all the way back then. No, okay, good. There was a thing at the bottom that said November 6th, and I was like, uh-oh. Uh, and we have a wonderful calendar here. Thank you, Marilyn. Greatly appreciate that. This is Forever Free Horse Rescue. Um, thank you for all the wonderful gifts. Thank you for the salsa treats, the monetary gift as well. Greatly appreciate it. Hopefully all is well in Illinois, Maryland. Uh, thank you for all the wonderful packages. And thanks again. Greatly appreciate it. Hopefully all is well for you. Salsa is going to love her new toy as well. Thanks. All right. We have a package here from a t-shirt company. Great Cities. That's the brand. That is cool. Farmville, Virginia tea. So I don't see a receipt in here who this might have been from. But whoever might have sent this. Thank you for that. Greatly appreciate. Whomever might have sent this. Thank you. Nice Farmville, Virginia t-shirt. Very, very cool go great with my Farmville, Virginia collection, as well as just being a great all-around great t-shirt. Oh, man. Can't wait for summer so I can wear t-shirts again. Very, very cool there. I uh, got a lot of t-shirts that I can definitely wear for the summer. Whoever sent me this, thank you for this. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you again. And uh, love the tea. Love Farmville, Virginia. I will not be adding that to a collection. I will be wearing that. So thank you for whoever sent that. Greatly appreciate it. This one is from Jim and Susan H. out of Georgia. Oh, wow. Oh. I don't see a... Nope, I see... It's Hyler Neef. I knew it was there. 
I see something with pineapple. Are we talking about pizza? We are not talking about pizza there. Taco Stacks. Me and my wife are subscribed to your channel and love the videos. Once in a year, our town people can put out anything for trash, so we have a week of treasure hunting. One of our favorite videos is your wasp nest video. <laughs> the beginning of that reminds us of the vintage sci-fi movie at the beginning. You may have to fight salsa for the baseball and beanie. Yeah. Uh, a good addition to your Mexican food is jalapeno and pineapples. Please give us a shout out to our eBay store, 59 Caddy. That's 50, spelled out F-I-F-T-Y, 9, the number, and then the Caddy, like a golf Caddy, C-A-D-D-Y. Check them out on eBay as well. And thanks, Jim and Susan, for this wonderful package here. So we have some Dale Earnhardt Diecast Winner Circle. This is a Revel. Some two awesome diecast toys there. We have also another diecast. This looks like an older car. Dale Earnhardt as well. This looks like the Mega Dale Earnhardt box. That's what exactly it is. We have the <laughs> baseball salsa is not getting a hold of this one. This one's going to collection. The Intimidator. Dale Earnhardt. We have a Dale Earnhardt collectible helmet knife. A beanie baby. Dale Earnhardt. They really made everything and everything for Dale Earnhardt. Watch it, the watch that clips the most everything, just the most random things they made for NASCAR, I gotta say, so this is kinda cool, it's different. I mean, like, where would you ever find a watch that clips on everything? No more of a Taco Stacks Mail Day video, check it out. Very, very cool, we have another Dale Earnhardt. This looks like Junior, but it's not, it's just a variant. So that's awesome as well. We have a Dale Earnhardt plaque. As well as another Dale Earnhardt plaque. Very, very cool. That's a 1995 Pinnacle racing cards with the bottom ones also 1995 Pinnacle racing card. Dale Earnhardt. Good old Dale Earnhardt. Dale Sr. And it looks like to round it off here, we do have a wow, TV guide. Remember when that was in the store everywhere? TV guides were everywhere. And then we have, oh, these were the best series ever to watch. These ESPN Classics, Sports Century. These were a beauty. Dale Earnhardt, over 90 minutes of bonus material as well. On to the Dale Earnhardt DVD. So thank you, you two. Greatly appreciate it. If you guys haven't checked out Jim and Susan's eBay store, it's 59 Caddy, 59, 50, spelled out nine, the number, Caddy on eBay. Check it out. Greatly appreciate it. Hopefully all is well. And thanks for all the wonderful Dale Earnhardt memorabilia. Thanks. All right. This is the last package of the day. Very large package as well. Sent from lovely Jackie P out of Florida. Thank you for another wonderful package here, Jackie. Greatly appreciate it. it says open here. Do, 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 do. Oh, hey. <laughs> The other day, I found one of these somewhere on my kitchen, and I was like, where did this come from? But I guess, <laughs> I guess somehow I kept it and felt it went somewhere, and I had it somewhere. And it was funny, because now I use it for my potato chips. Oh, taco and salsa. This one's taco and salsa. Doo -doo. Jackie P, thank you for all the wonderful gifts you've blessed me with over the past couple mail day videos. <laughs> Hello, Taco Stacks and Salsa Girl. Look, no money. Just an FYI, this was a buy one, get one item. Thought maybe you can use this for the pretty girl. <laughs> Not your wife or your girlfriend. Lol, I got one for my inspector as he's a large dog. Also, no way you can hurt my feelings if this is something you don't like or want or can't put together. Just pass it on or sell it. Hugs to Salsa Girl. Peace, Jackie. Ah, I see what it is. It says adjustable elevated stainless steel bowls. Wait, is that what's in here or is that? I think that's what's in here. I'm gonna go ahead and say that's what's in here because I kind of hope it is in here. Taco number two. Jackie? Jackie, stop doing that. <laughs> Whoop, there it is, lol. Peace, Jackie. Jackie included a wonderful 
$100 gift as well. Thank you, Jackie, for that. Greatly appreciate that. You do not have to send me money. You do not have to send me money. Thank you for the wonderful gift. Send a $100 bill. Jackie, I greatly appreciate it. You do not have to send me money. It'll be going to great use. It's awesome. Thanks, Jackie. Thank you again. I greatly appreciate it. It means a lot that you've been very, very supportive of the channel. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And yes, this looks exactly like what I need. So the one thing was, holy moly, this is legit. Still can't get over it. Is this like one that you put to wait a second? How is this? Adjustable elevated double stainless steel bowl. Parts included one base, one support. Why am I reading off the instructions online? All right, well, thank you for this. And yes, this will be going to good use. I don't think this will be going in my room, I think it'll be going down here. All right. Well, we have a whole dog bowl to assemble here. Um, so the one thing was, I was actually thinking about this last week, is I was looking at her dog bowl and I know the plastic ones are usually not really good for dogs. So I was like, you know, I gotta get her a stainless steel one. So I was gonna go on and buy one. And good thing I did not because we have one right here. So we have stainless steel and I know the stainless steel is actually better for your dog. So greatly appreciate that. Thank you for that, Jackie. Um, Salsa also will thank you as well, but she's currently busy sniffing things. So, uh, yeah, greatly appreciate that. You'll see this probably in a couple videos. I'll probably get this assembled. And then it will be fully assembled and Salsa will have a new dog bowl. So thank you for that, Jackie. Thank you for all the wonderful gifts you've sent me, as well as a couple that were in this mail day. Thank you for the money as well. You don't have to send me money. <laughs> Uh, greatly appreciate it though, and I greatly appreciate all the support, Jackie. I love reading your comments as well, and thanks again. Thanks for the salsa gift. Salsa's gonna enjoy it. Hopefully all is well in Florida. Thanks again, Jackie. Alrighty, everyone. Thank you again for another wonderful mail day, another wonderful package unboxing, unwrapping, whatever you like to say. Thank you to everyone out there who sent wonderful gifts. Uh, greatly appreciate it. I know with the warmer weather coming up, spring is right around the corner, so very thankful for that. I know a lot of people are really looking forward to uh, checking out the, you know, the flea market and garage sales and yard sales. Salsa is currently so excited with just sniffing boxes, but uh, she thanks everyone for all the wonderful gifts as well. If you guys want to send anything, my PO box information is in the description below. You can copy and paste it or write it down, uh, but my information will be in the description below. I can only accept packages sent through the postal service though, so if you're curious about sending a package, but other than that, thank you for everything. Thank you for all the wonderful gifts, packages, money, clothing, and etc. cetera. Uh, I greatly appreciate all the wonderful gifts. Catch you guys tomorrow for tomorrow's adventure. Until tomorrow, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.